Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football. Uh, we'll call it, a, for the first game, we'll call it an update show uh, uh, slash pregame show, but it's more an update show. And uh, right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers are beating the New York Giants 25-10 uh, to 10 in the fourth quarter with uh, 5.23 to go. Uh, and we'll break down both Monday Night games. But first, here is today's Scott Sports 101. Uh... Monday Night Football trivia question. The very first regular season game on ESPN was an interconference matchup between which two teams? Uh, I will have the answer later in the uh, podcast. It's Monday Night Football Week 1. Uh, are you ready for some football? Uh, we have two Monday Night games for you tonight. The early game, which is uh, winding down right now, it's a uh, it has been featuring the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The Giants are looking to bounce back after a horrendous, struggleish season last year. Andrew Thomas is one of many Giants making rookies making uh, set to make his debut tonight, along with other Giants rookies making their de making their debuts tonight as well. Expect the uh, Giants' offense to really have a big game and the defense have a big game and. I also expect uh, Saquon Barkley to really uh, to really uh, uh, catch uh, their, their Eli Manning's passes and just uh, to run to run through the pocket and really uh, uh, really make the plays this year. And uh, uh, meanwhile, the Steelers are hoping to have a better season than than last year to really improve their record from last year. They got quarterback Ben Roethlisberger back from his elbow injury last year. And uh, they made a lot of moves during this offseason in uh, training camp, in uh, the combine and free agency in the draft. And they had a great training camp, although there was no preseason. And uh, expect Roethlisberger to have a big game tonight and expect the Steelers' defense and the uh, uh, offense to really have a big game because they really had a big game tonight. The Giants, I mean, they look good early on, but they've been struggling. So, uh uh, don't expect that. Uh, I want to get your hopes up on the Giants coming up from behind to win this one, but we'll see what happens. Uh, in the second Monday night game uh, tonight, the Tennessee Titans and the Denver Broncos will square off at Sports Authority Field in Denver, Colorado. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Broncos fans will be watching from home because they're not allowed, the Broncos organization is not allowing fans in the stadium right now. And uh, uh, Denver is looking to improve in last year to make a playoff run for the first time since Super Bowl 50. And uh, expect uh, Drew Black in his sophomore season to uh, really attempt to have a big game tonight. And expect the Broncos offense to really put the pressure on uh, the Titans defense and, uh, the, uh, and the defense to put the pressure on the Titans offense. Uh, now, meanwhile, the Tennessee Titans are really looking to uh, bounce back from last year and uh, get back to the playoffs and to really uh, make another playoff run because they, they would like to, to get to the Super Bowl this year and expect them to have a really big game. Expect their offense and defense to really put pressure on the uh, uh, the uh, Denver Broncos offense and, offense and defense. And right now we're going to go over uh, we'll go over all of yesterday's NFL action in just a moment. But right now, it's time to reveal uh, the uh, answer uh, to today's uh, Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football trivia question. The very first regular season game on ESPN was an inter-conference matchup between which two teams? And if you said the New York Giants and the New England Patriots, you are correct. On November 8, 1987, ESPN televised its very first regular season NFL game, it was a week nine contest between the New York Giants and the New England Patriots, which the Giants won 17 to 10. I will have the, uh, the, uh, another uh, trivia question on my, uh, next podcast, uh, which will be, uh, on, uh, for Thursday night football. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, now to go over uh, all of yesterday's NFL action, and the one from Thursday. First of all, you know that uh, Texas, that 
Chiefs beat the Texans 34 to 20 at Arrowhead Stadium on Thursday Night Football last Thursday. Uh, the uh, Buffalo Bills beat the New York Jets 27-17 at Ralph Wilson Stadium, and I gotta give credit to the Bills and, and their offense. They really and, and they really had a big game yesterday, and uh, they're a quarterback and a, a, I can't remember, and uh, they're uh, I think a couple players on offense. I'm giving game balls to them. The uh, Green Bay Packers beat the uh, Minnesota Vikings 43-34 us at U.S. Bank Stadium. In uh, Minnesota, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I gotta give the game ball to Aaron Rodgers. Uh, the uh, Washington Football Team uh, beat the Philadelphia Eagles 27-17 at FedEx Field in uh, Washington D.C. And I gotta give the game ball to uh, uh, to uh, I gotta give the game ball to, to Washington's quarterback. I just can't remember his name. Well, it was not a good opening day for the Browns, and uh, too many mistakes and turnovers cost them the game as they were blown out by the Ravens, uh, 38 to uh, six. And I got to give credit to the Ravens and uh, Lamar Jackson, uh, Marquise Brown, and Will Willie Snead Jr. and Mark Andrews all get the game balls. Uh, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Indianapolis Colts 27-20 at Everbank Field. And uh, Jacksonville, Florida, and I got to give it the game ball to Gardner Minshew the second. Uh, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders beat the Carolina Carolina Panthers at uh, their home field at Bank of America Stadium in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, thirty-four to thirty. And uh, I give it to the Raiders quarterback and and uh, two players in their office because they had a big game. Got to give credit to where credit is due. The Chicago Bears beat the Detroit Lions 27-23 at Ford Field in uh, Detroit, Michigan. I got to give the game ball to Mitch Trubisky. The uh, Seattle Seahawks beat the Atlanta Falcons 38-24 at Mercedes-Benz uh, Stadium in Atlanta. And Russell Wilson gets the game ball for that one because I got to give credit to the Seahawks. The New England Patriots on a new quarterback, uh, uh, Cam Newton beat the Miami Dolphins 21 to 11, and Cam Newton gets the game ball. I got to give it to him. And uh, the LA Chargers beat the Cincinnati Bengals, who the Browns will play on Thursday Night Football in the Battle of Ohio. And it was 16 to 13 at Paul Brown Stadium, and I got to give the game ball to Tyrod Taylor. So uh, I, I give it to him, and uh, and the Charger and a couple players on the Chargers' uh, uh, offense and defense as well. The Arizona Cardinals upset the 49ers at Levi Stadium, 24 to 20, and I gotta give it to Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins. They get the game balls. Uh, the Tampa, Bay, the uh, New Orleans Saints beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, under new quarterback, uh, under Buccaneers new quarterback Tom Brady, and Saints quarterback Drew Brees gets the game balls. The game ball, uh, and uh, L. Uh, Gibbous, uh, uh and uh. Rand Randall gets the game ball as well at Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, 34 to 23. And last night on Sunday Night Football, the uh, Los Angeles Rams beat the Dallas Cowboys, 20 to 17, at SoFi Stadium in uh, uh, Los Inglewood, California, near Los Angeles. And Jared Goff gets the game ball. So uh, the Pittsburgh uh, Giants game is the Pittsburgh Steelers New York Giants game is winding down, and we'll see the outcome of that one. But it looks like the Steelers are going to prevail, and I will update you on both games after the Titans and Denver uh, Titans and Broncos game has concluded. But right now the uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers are up on the New York Giants, 25 to 10 in the fourth quarter, with 5:23. Uh, to go. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports uh, 101 Monday Night Football uh, update show. We'll call it an update pregame show, but it's mainly an update show. And I'll be back with the postgame show once the uh, uh, Titans-Broncos game has concluded. And uh, so uh, stay tuned for that, which gets underway at 1020 on ESPN. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one, I'm done.